Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do again a different counting principle. From our previous videos you have learnt that you can have m times n for different options. You have n to the power of r if you have the same arrangements for everyone depending on how many positions. That is when repetition is allowed. But when repetition is not allowed then you must be careful and you must rather draw it. Okay, but what happens when the number of arrangements equal to the number of options? So what I'm saying is, let's say you've got a five letter word, Fanta. Now, you have a five letter word, so the number of arrangements for each one can be five, isn't it? If I said you could repeat it. And the number of options is also five. But what happens when I say you cannot repeat it. So I have five options here. One, two, three, four, five. Remember when we're doing these we are accepting A even though they're two of the same we are accepting them to be different alphabets. Okay so even though you see it as A and A it's something like you got F A N T and you got an S or something. So we are seeing it as two different alphabets. We are not seeing it as the same alphabet. Now, if I cannot be, if we cannot repeat it, then I'd have four, and in the next one I'd have three, and in the next one I'd have two, and the next one I'd have one. So what I have is five times four times three times two times one. And if you press it in your calculator, you'd end up with 120. Now if you look on your calculator, there's a button that looks like this. Now had you pressed 5 and you pressed that button, you would still get 120. What this is called, or this concept is called factorial. Now the thing about factorial is that factorial works such that it will go from its position, it will start decreasing by 1, but it ends at 1. So if I had a six letter word and I had six positions and then I cannot repeat, I would simply say in my calculator six factorial. I would then use my calculator and I would get 720. So what is the third rule that we are learning. The third rule says that if we have a number of arrangements and it is the same as the number of positions but repetition is not allowed then the rule is n factorial. So if I said 5 it would be 5 factorial. If I said 6 it would be 6 factorial. Now how would this become handy? Let's say you and your friends go to the movies and there are seven friends. So if you are seven friends, obviously you're going to buy seven tickets and you could have an option between seven seats. So how many different ways can you and your friends sit? The first one if he sits down, for the first chair we have seven options. Then your friend sits and now there's six of you standing. And then he sits and now there's five of you standing. And we can go on and on and on till the last friend sits down. So what did we do? We did seven factorial. And our answer was five o oh, five thousand and forty. Let's take another one. Let's say you want to put in a five digit code. And you are using numbers one to five. So you have five digit code, the number of arrangements is also five because the, you have five spaces and you have the numbers one to five. So what is it? Five factorial provided that the numbers cannot be repeated. So if you used five in the first one, then the second one you only have four options. And again you can use your calculator which will equal to 120. 
you have learned that if I go in factorial then basically you have same say that's the whole idea if I go n to the power of r this basically means repetition so on this one we have no repetition and for this rule we do have repetition now why would that become important let us say you have you have to put in a code okay so again we're going with a five digit code right and then I'm telling you that this five digit code is formed from five numbers right the first one is if repetition is allowed how many options do I have if repetition is allowed then what do we have we have 5 to the power of 5 but if we say repetition is not allowed then we have 5 factorial can you see the difference but let's make it a bit more challenging what if I said the first number has to be 5 repetition is allowed now look at what they're doing we know we have five choices now they're telling you that the first number has to be five so how many options do you have there you only have one option can you see that because the only option you have is five but for the next four you have five 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 so it would be one times 5 to the power of 4 what if I said that we're doing the exact same question but repetition is not allowed now if the first number is 5 we only have one option but look at the next one you cannot tell me it's 5 4 3 2 why you've already used 5 and repetition is not allowed so if you've already used 5 then that means it's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 can you see so what was the answer for this one it was 4 factorial 1 times 4 factorial which gives you 4 factorial thank you for watching